Hey everybody. Today we're doing some more work with factor variables in R. We're going to relevel, recode, and reorder some factor variables. We're going to be working with two different data sets in this vid. The first is the islands data set. This is a modified version of the built-in islands data set in R. By the way, throughout this vid, I'm going to be using functions from the tidyverse family of packages and from the forecats package in particular. Um, I recommend installing these on your system with install.packages parenthesis quote tidyverse. And before you'll be able to use them, for instance, to replicate what I'm doing in this vid, you'll need to load them into memory with library parenthesis tidyverse. So um, let's start just by getting a glimpse of this islands data set. Okay. So we have 39 rows and two columns. We can see that in the viewer up top as well. Here in particular, though, I want to point out that the island variable is a factor variable. It's categorical data. That's how R is going to treat it. Um, we can get a little bit more information about this with the factor underscore count command. And we'll feed um, this just the name of the variable we're interested in, which is islands dollar island. And you'll see that in this case, we have a number of factors. In fact, 29 plus 10 is 39 of them, so one per row of the data set. And the frequency on each is just one. So in fact, each island in this data set just has one area measure, which is how we would want it, frankly. OK, so um, the first thing I'm going to want to do here is to reorder the levels on this factor variable. Why might I care about that? Well, I think that's most clear when we try and do a graphical display. So let's go ahead and get a, um, a plot showing these different islands and their different areas. Um, I'm going to use the ggplot function. I have a whole video on that. I'll throw a link up top in case you're not really familiar with it. First of all, we need to feed ggplot the name of the data set that we're working with, in this case, islands. And then we need to specify the aesthetics. So on the x-axis, I want area. And on the y-axis, I want the individual islands. I'm going to do geome underscore point. I'll do it like a scatter plot. And just to make it a little bit more readable, I'm going to triple the size of the points in my plot. Okay. So this is um, an okay plot. It's good for some purposes. But notice that the, um, the factors on the y-axis are in alphabetical order, in ascending alphabetical order as we read from bottom to top. And that's okay for some purposes, but for, um, for certain applications, for instance, we might want to have this sorted according to area, either ascending or descending. So let's see how to do that. The basic command we're going to use is factor reorder. And I want to reorder the categorical variable in this case according to the quantitative variable. So using the up arrow to get the previous command, I'm going to wrap the island variable here in the factor reorder command. So I want to reorder factor the factor variable island according to the variable area. Let's see what we get. Okay, so in this case you can see it's taken all the factor levels and reorganized them so that their order now corresponds to increasing areas. If we like, we can make them correspond to decreasing areas just by adding a single argument here. I'm going back to that factor reorder command, and I'm adding dot desc for descending, and it needs to be true, or just capital T. So there it is. We'll zoom just to make it a little more attractive. OK, great. The second data set I want to look at is the Cookies 2 data set. And, um, this time, let's just uh, see the levels in this um, categorical variable that we have there for the brand. So it's cookies2 dollar brand. And you can see that we have this categorical variable, factor variable, with five levels. Hannaford, Chewy, Reduced Fat, Regular, and Keeper. Okay, so um, that's great. Suppose that we're not happy with these names. For instance, suppose that they're a little too long for us, we want to abbreviate them a little bit. We can take care of that with the factor recode command. So it's going to work like this. First, we're going to let R know that we want to reassign, we want to do something with the cookies um, $2 brand, cookie 
$0.62 brand. We want to reassign that with um, factor recode. So we're going to recode this one factor variable. First, we need to pass factor recode the name of the factor variable that we're working with. So that's cookies2 dollar brand again. And then we just need to start letting R know the new names of our factor levels. So suppose instead of Hannaford, we want just Han. So we type the new name of the factor level and then in quotes the old name. So Han equals Hannaford. Um, let's just do one more. Let's do um, reduced. Let's rename that just to red. And we could do this with all five if we liked. I'm just going to do the two. Um, and I misspelled Hannaford. I need a D at the end of it, so R is giving me a warning. Okay. And um, this warning message is just because I already dealt with reduced. So um, that factor level is gone. Let's see the new levels. So levels, cookies2, dollar brand. There we go. So instead of Hannaford, we have Han. Instead of reduced, we have red. Um, great. Suppose that we're not happy with the order of these. Well, we already have dealt with this according to factor reorder, and we'll do more with that in just a minute. But now suppose that I just want the Chips Ahoy regular, um, the regular brand, up front. So the command here that we're going to use is factor relevel. Let's um, make this a permanent change. So let's take the cookies variable again, cookies2 dollar brand variable that is, and reassign it with factor relevel. And we're letting R know that we're re-leveling the cookies2 dollar brand. And the syntax here is actually nice and simple. To do an arbitrary reordering, we just list the um, the levels that we want to move up front. So let's move Keebler up front and leave the others trailing behind in the same order. So let's get those levels again. You can see that the order is exactly the same, <laughs> except that now Keebler is first. Um, we can add extra arguments to move other variables as well, um, specifying the order of the first few, um, first few levels and leaving the others as is. Okay, let's get a, um, a box plot for this data. So let's do ggplot cookies2. And um, this time it's really going to be a side by side box plot. I want a separate box plot for each one of these brands. So on the x axis, let's put the brand. On the y axis, let's do something with the number of chips. And again, we'll do it with a box plot. Box plot. Okay, so there it is. Notice this time, unlike in that first example, we're actually graphing summary data. For each one of these five brands, we have a number of different entries in our data set. So R is actually doing some calculations before doing these box plots. Um, in addition to calculating the, the quartiles, it's doing some stuff with outliers and plotting those separately. Um, so it, the natural question is, here is how can we, we reorder this in a more desirable way? Um, here the levels are arbitrary. They are just the ones that I specified. We might want to have this box plot so that they are sort of in increasing order. Now this is a slightly different question than we had in that first data set where we wanted to sort the islands according to increasing area. Because as I said a second ago, this time we're dealing with summary data here, not just individual values. But it's not really any harder. We're going to use the same command that we did before. It's the factor reorder command. We want to reorder the brand variable. So let's do that, fct underscore reorder. And to start off with, the syntax is really exactly the same. We want to reorder the brand variable according to the number of chips. So what has R done here? Let's zoom in on that so it's a little bit more, vi more visible. So R has sorted the brand variable according to the number of chips, but it applied a function underneath the hood. In particular, R decided, um, sort of by default, that it would sort these categorical variables according to the median value of the quantitative variable that I specified, that is the number of chips. 
And so you'll see the median, which is denoted by the middle line in each of these boxes, is increasing here. Of course, there are other ways to do that. We could do it according to mean or any number of other functions, including ones that we make. Um, so let's go ahead and, and uh, change the function that we're using here. The um, syntax is dot and then the name of the function, so dot min in this case. There is no dot, sorry. There we go. Got that confused. Okay, so now these boxes are sorting accord, sorted according to the minimum value. I think that's all I wanted to go through today. Um, so thank you very much. Bye-bye.